This is the Nanocom uh, Evolution Mark II. Bought this a couple of years ago, um, not long after getting the Hawkeye. Uh, I've done a previous video on an overview of the Hawkeye, so I'll do the same with this. This is just an overview. I've not, you know, really used a fraction of the functionality of this yet, but I just sort of go through the menu system and see what's, what it's about. Now, it's a nice sturdy box. You've got three ways to power it. One is by plugging it in with the OBD port into the vehicle itself. Another is a power socket there. And the third way is USB plugging into the into your computer. Um, the only way you can do engine diagnostics is if you actually plug it in via the OBD port. Um, if you power it with the other two, I think that's just for, um, you know, if you were transferring files onto it from your laptop or if you just wanted to enter the license keys, that type of thing. When you receive this, you have, to, you have to get a key to unlock it. And you have to unlock it per vehicle as well. So, same as before. I won't bother. Oh, you've also got an SD card here as well, so you can actually copy files onto it. One thing to bear in mind with this, which caught me out, is when you come to use this to plug into your vehicle, make sure the cable into the Nanocom first before you plug it into the car. If you do it the other way around, which is what I did, you plug it into the OBD port in the car, as I touched it against this port here, I had this large spark and something popped. Uh, it turned out it was just a fuse in the car, but I honestly thought I'd fried the nanocom and i only had it half a day so bear that in mind so take the cable plug the cable in first it's probably a good idea um tighten it up as well with the screws and then plug it into the car. Okay, that beeping was an outcome coming on. Trying to get rid of that. Okay, so you can go in, uh, you can choose which car you've got. So I've only got this unlocked for the Discovery 2. In fact, I think I've got it unlocked for the TD5, so it might be for the Defender TD5 as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. But anyway, let's just go in. Okay, what we got there? This one down here is where you can go in and you can program the key fobs. There you go, key programming. I'm not going to do this now. I'll be doing a third video where you go in. Okay, that's because you need to turn ignition on in the car. I'll just take that away so I don't show my key codes. I will be doing a whole video on programming keys at some point. I'll do it both the, the Hawkeye and the Nanocom. Let's go and see if we can get some engine codes. Faults. Okay, a flow circuit, well, it looks like as well you can save text here as well, that's quite, ha quite handy. So if you've got an ST card plugged in here, you can save any of this information onto that card by the looks of it. I've never done it, but that's what it looks like it's for. Then obviously you can transfer it between here and the computer. Rather than writing the fold down on a piece of paper and then running in and having a look on the internet. Uh, Alright, so that's fine. I don't know what the rest of this is. Settings, injectors, throttle... Uh, okay. 
Okay, so that's the codes for the injectors. They've all got unique codes. Presumably, you can just go in there now and reprogram. If you put a new injector in, um, you can put a new code in. Input switch. T5 map, SD card not present, that's interesting, so I wonder if that's for reprogramming the ECU. various tests I can't see the live data that we had with the Hawkeye. With the Hawkeye um, it was reading out the coolant temperature and the fuel temperature and things like that so it must be must be here somewhere There you go. So yeah, it's all here. It's all the same. It's just, uh, you know, different interface. So you get the engine speed there, zero, obviously, road speed. Battery, 11.69 volts. And there is, looking at this menu here, there are loads of menu items. various other options down here as well, I don't know what these are for, uh, let's go back with... And once again there's a save button there so you can save things on this SD card, that's actually quite handy, I like that.